independent filmmakers, writers, producers, actors, actresses are all coming together for something which is called MyFilmRocks.com. That's what's taking place here next on Chief Rocket TV, where music, fashion, and politics collide in association with Trail Vision. I'm your host, Q Nice. Let's do it. Um, you know, we're, we're out here at this, this beautiful event, right. and it's for filmmakers, directors, actors, actresses. What do you think this means for all of them, especially being an independent? I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm here. This is, like, kind of crazy. <laughs> now, nah, you know what? I'm actually here just to support my boy K-Rob. I mean, we grew up together. You know what I mean? I remember when he was playing with Barbie dolls and I was playing with Tonka toys and stuff. It actually took us like three years to get him to stop playing with Barbie dolls and stuff. You know, a little bit of therapy and things of that nature. But, you know, he's grown up to be a nice young man, you know. I mean, hermaphrodite. But, you know, it's all good. And he's like, boy. Oh, yeah, he hears everything you say right now. <laughs> Do you see this? I mean, if you notice, <laughs> you know, the hormones, he had to start taking that to grow into facial hair. But, you know, it's all good. I mean, he's, he's people too. And, um, you know, he's, he's doing a great program right now. Anything that supports filmmakers, independent filmmakers, I'm in it 100%. You know, I'm even, you know, in a relationship with a beautiful independent filmmaker. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble when I get home. Hey, you know, it's all good. It's for the art. That's what we do. All right. Give us your take on, on what do you think about this whole event and what's taking place. I just second what he said. You know, Kevin's a hard worker and he is an entrepreneur. And I think being a black male in this business, um, it's a wonderful contribution that he's adding to filmmaking. And like he said, for independent filmmakers who need a voice and they need a platform and they need more than Sundance to, you know, get some recognition, it's hard to get in there. So he's providing a platform on top of those platforms to allow, you know, those people who didn't make that, you know, round have another opportunity to get their stuff shown showcase and that's all anyone needs is uh, an opportunity so this is wonderful coming up for you real quick <laughs> I'm wrapping up Sons of Anarchy right now Maya and I are uh, actually going to North Carolina to finish up yeah. uh, for Richard for poor she actually uh, wrote uh, pinned one of the episodes um, and is doing it for GMC and doing an incredible character um, on the show packaging one of her films that she just wrote right now just got hey, but he's on sons of anarchy and he'll be returning back to the game this season he doesn't ever talk about himself so you know sons of anarchy got some money to do another one of her films that she oh wrote you know what i'm saying in february so holla <laughs> power couple they hating they hate <laughs> q nice posted up here with my secret crush <laughs> Beth at, right here rocks. and then my hands are right here for the film rocks because they do what are you doing are you paying attention? Are you submitting? Are you creating? Are you developing? I'm here with Trill, the one and only T-R-I-L-L. -L. This is Beth Payne. Where can you see me, Sons of the Anarchy? My new character is being introduced. Yes, on the finale, the season finale. Watch, baby, it's happening. And look at these lashes. So she is so hot right now. She's got sirens buzzing and everything in the background. I, you, you look That's great. I, thank you. I make a beverage that keeps you... Yes. Like this, I'm 170. No, I'm 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 40. But God is good, and my beverages keep it all. For a, one more time for us out there, uh, just in case some some of our viewers may have missed it, tell us your story very quickly about how you lost all that weight. Oh, I was a size 18 three years ago. Bad relationship, but I thank God for that bad person. No, he's a great person because I actually was able to find out how incredible. God really is and how he gives us gifts and sometimes we don't understand how he'll turn a negative situation and make it positive and amazing. So out of that craziness came me losing a lot of weight and developing health and, and products that can literally change people's lives and it started with me. And my grandmother was the first one 15 years ago as a colon cancer survivor. So I'm excited and more importantly I'm excited about MyFilmRocks.com. Um, Kevin is a friend of mine. I've known him forever from Colorado and when I heard about what he's doing and just, just making an impact and it's yeah. giving people an opportunity to really make a difference. They're doing a fantastic job with everything and we thank you so much for being out here with us. Well, I'm so excited. So keep, keep, keep watching My Film Rocks. 
keep trill in your mindset because this is what we do. God bless you. Adios. First of all, let's talk about the swag for a minute because when he came in, he came in mellow rock cool. You know, he's supposed to be here. Y'all better recognize. How you feeling tonight, bro? I'm doing all right, man. It's just <laughs> good to support my boy Kevin. You know, myfilmrocks.com is great. You know, it's, it's the new innovation of how we are, we're streaming our, our films mm -hmm. and getting our, our material out to people. So, you know, I'm, I'm a champion of that. No doubt. Tell us what do you have coming up. Um, I have what we call Small Apartments with Billy Crystal, James Kahn, Rosie Perez, and Johnny Knoxville. So, you know, most people know me as D-Rock from Notorious and, and Dysfunctional Friends, but this is a whole different comedy. It's, it's, it's a great thing, though. It's a great, it's a great film. That's good. Was, it, was it hard working on the film in the beginning stages, or how was it for you? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I love being on set and working. You know, I'm a black man. I'm not Jamaican, but I love working. So just to be on set and, and to work and around those talented people was I learned a lot and I watched. So it wasn't hard. It was great. We shot all over L.A. and it was a good project. We got Dolph Lundgren. So many people in this film. It's going to be a great project. The experiences that you get every time that you're, you're doing TV or you're doing film, what's the most important thing? you would say for those other actors and actresses that are coming up that want to be where you are? Um, I tell them to keep fighting. Uh, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You know, I go by the three P's, prayer, perseverance, and persistence. You uh, got to be persistent with what you want. You got to persevere through the ups and downs, the peaks and the valleys, and you got to pray about it because you need some extra help because it ain't easy out here. But if that's what you want to do, just stick with it and it'll come to you. You know, the survival of the fittest. Um, website, Twitter, um, anything like that? At like you know org. I teach my acting workshops all over the country, at like you know, um, in LA. I just got back from Pittsburgh from teaching, doing something in Atlanta, all over the country. So if you're interested in acting, go to at like you know org. And also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Dennis L.A. White. I'm all over the place. My social media skills is crazy, but it's Dennis L.A. White on all those, all right? Dennis, thank you so much for your time. Continue success. Peace. All right, bro. Thank all right. you. All right, Q Nice live here and direct is what we do all the time on the red carpets. Tonight, it's a blue carpet, and we're talking with the gentlemen who are actually the, the brains behind this whole operation right now. I want to get some names as we go around right quick. Michael Matthews, uh, Kevin Roberts, Philip Porteza. First of all, it's, it's great to have you guys here. Thanks so much for taking the time out to talk with us. Love the suit, see the shoes, love the watch, love this jacket and that tie. Now let's get started with the interview. Now, um, <laughs> just tell us, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm trying to hang out with y'all tonight. <laughs> so, you know, why here, why now? You know, right now is a time, we're in a digital revolution right now, and things are incredibly high when it comes to film submissions. I mean, when you're talking about media for YouTube, Vimeo, and film festivals, things are way too high, and there's not nearly enough opportunity for people out there. Uh, the gap right now is either put your stuff on YouTube or in Vimeo, or get lost in the 1% of films that might get into a film festival. So we wanted to fill that gap up a little bit. We know there's a, a place for YouTube and Vimeo and a place for all those media channels, but there's definitely a place for the film festivals as well, but there's definitely a place for something in between and stuff for all the companies to use some crowdsourcing research and anything like that. Media is being created and there's some extremely talented people out there that are not being seen. So we're really, really trying to push to get the people out there, the artists out there from all over the world to compete for amazing opportunities. To be able to do this for a lot of filmmakers and writers and, and actors, uh, how does this make you feel to be able to really do this and, and put this out to, to see all this wonderful talent that's coming through? Well, first and foremost, uh, we're filmmakers ourselves, so you know, so we yeah, so we we know we understand the plight. We've submitted the film festivals. We've uh, you know we've done the whole uh, the whole rigmarole. So now what we're trying to do is, I know, right? You didn't know that word, right? Yeah, I, I just pulled that out. I pulled that out for this. You out of there. I know, I know. You threw it I out. I looked it up before we got on the blue car. But I said, I'm going to use it at the right moment. I'm going to go Google it. All right, in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but yeah, so we've been through the whole, uh, the whole situation. So what we wanted to do is provide opportunities. And uh, the format is film, compete, and win. And that's what we want to do and, and provide opportunities for filmmakers. I understand for a lot of filmmakers that are out there that go to the site, they say that it's very easy to navigate. Very easy, very fast. Your comments on that? Oh, yeah. It's very easy because 
the platform is just you can look at different things and different aspects of film. Like right now we have we're working on our inspiration page. So like filmmakers like they can submit and then they can look at different categories like animation, you know, fight scenes, action, mystery, you know, they can just draw upon these different things that will help inspire them more to create different things, you know, cuz everything now is kind of repeating over and over again, you know, like that's why like this is like such a great platform because it's provides something for people to be inspired and to just allow new creativity to come through, you know, which we're missing and so yeah, it'll be a lot of original stuff coming through. Yeah. You guys seem like you have a really great chemistry. Um, is there anything in the work where we can see like all three of you in a movie together? Oh, we like like you said, we are filmmakers. We've been to film festivals together quite a bit. Anything that we've worked on together has taken us very far. So um, we definitely miss being uh, on a film production or a film set. We miss it very much. Uh, but uh, we thought uh, a little bit of the bigger picture. Let's make some more opportunities for some people and then we'll get ourselves back out there when there's a new market and everything so yeah but we definitely got a lot of ideas and a lot of things yeah. in the work a lot of things coming out maybe yeah. and maybe it's like some years years down the road we'll uh, we'll we'll bring we'll break out our film that we did in can no we won't <laughs> we did a 2 minute like a 2 minute or uh, three-minute short that we did in Cannes at the Cannes Film Fizzle and we had to do it in 24 hours. It was the most hilarious thing and the funnest, one of the funnest times I ever had filming anything. So, yeah, but, but yeah. So maybe we'll bring that Cool. Well, gentlemen, we thank you so much for your time. Continue success and uh, have at it and definitely enjoy the night. All right. Thank you guys very much and keep, keep it out. MyFilmRocks.com. So, yeah. And I want everybody to go out there, like you said, MyFilmRocks.com and the catchphrase is, I'm K. Rob, and my film rocks. My film rocks. Your, your film rocks too. You nice here with Sarah Downing. Sarah, first of all, I gotta compliment you on the jacket. The jacket is popping. I love it. My film rocks. Uh, the reason why we're all here, uh, blue blue carpet event. Uh, tell us your thoughts on the evening. I'm just excited to be here. Uh, Totally excited. Checked out the website today, so wish you guys the best of luck, and looks like all great things. So nice. definitely excited for you guys' new journey. Well, tell us exactly, now what do you have going on as of late? I know you have a new show that's about to take off. And yeah, um, I'm coming out on a new show. Season premieres tonight on Oxygen Network. Nice. Yep, called My Shopping Addiction, hence the cool sh the cool it's jacket. the cool jacket, right? Right. <laughs> so tell us when it comes to fashion, what, what do you look for when you're out shopping, you know, for yourself? I think my whole thing is that I like anything that looks avant-garde. So anything that somebody else isn't wearing, I would rather look as though I rolled out of bed and still look cool rather than, you know, I sat 30 minutes doing my makeup. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Now, as far as a uh, website for you, Twitter, anything like that? Yeah, um, it's all getting set up. Oh. So Sarah B. Downey. So Sarah B. Downey on Twitter, Sarah B. Downey on Facebook, and there's a SarahBDowney.com that got launched tonight. So. Absolutely. Well, Sarah, we thank you so much for your time. You look fantastic. I love the boots. Continue success. Thank you. All right. All right. Q Nice here with Cassie Jordan right Hi. here. No um, relation to Michael. No relation to Michael. We, you know, we checked. It's it's all good. But we still love to have her here. She's here with us right now. <laughs> thank so. You. You're a peach. Thank you so much. Um, let's talk first about the film, filmsrocks.com. Wonderful. Um, your thoughts about the event tonight? Oh, it's wonderful. The cupcakes are amazing. The people are nice. Um, there's not an ounce of pretension in the air. Everyone's here to have a good time and communicate and make connections. And everybody wants to be famous, but everybody's nice about it today. So it's good. Uh, see, now that's really good right there. Yes. Now, let's talk about this wonderful dress that you have on. First, let's get a nice gander look at it. Front and back, side to side. Very sexy. <laughs> and you can see she did the model turn for us. Now, give us uh, the description of, this is your friend who made my this? Friend, my friend, Audrey Kay, has a boutique in Burbank on Magnolia Boulevard, and she makes retro dresses for normal size women with normal parts and with pockets because we always want to have somewhere to put our phone or gum or condoms or whatever you, whatever, if you're going out, you might need some. Right, that's true. And all these patterns are original, but they're made for us. Wonderful. And this is a vintage design from like World War II. See the poppies for World War II? Wow. Wow. So what attracted you to this dress? I mean, was it the color? Was it, was it the patterns? And it's everything? It's comfortable. It's stretchy. It breathes. 
it looks good on me, makes the girls look good. <laughs> hey, if I'm going to tote them around all day, yeah, I'm going to get some mileage out of them. Right. The girls got to look good. The girls got to look good. <laughs> now tell us, what do you have coming up? Um, right now, if you go to funnyordie.com, you can look up my wonderful video called Adele's One Night Stand, where I play Adele. And basically, it's a spoof on her album um, saying that the whole thing was written about a one night stand about a guy that I picked up in a bar in Culver City. Yeah, that, that was me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw a rerun of the episode of The Office I did. Oh, okay. Yes, I was Stanley's date. Okay. Yes, I was his hot white woman. <laughs> now, is there a website for you or a Twitter or anything like that? Um, I'm on Twitter, Sassy Cassie J. I am on Facebook. Um, uh, you can check out my reel at www.realaccess.com slash talent slash Cassie Jordan. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Funny or Die. I'm everywhere. Cassie is everywhere, and we love Cassie. Thank you so much for your time. Continue success. Thank you so much. This hat is fierce. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Q Nice here with, of course, the man himself, Mr. Fuller. How you feeling? I don't, I just, I don't want to be so formal with you, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> See, you got like casual vibe. I like that. It's relaxed and conversational. I, you know, just relax and, and just take it in. And then speaking of taking it all in, we're here at the Blue Carpet. Tell us your, your thoughts on what's going on with MyFilmRocks.com. You know, I think it's great a lot of indie films kind of go under the radar because they don't have the money to kind of back them in distribution. And this provides a platform. I think that's awesome. I uploaded a short film myself just tonight called Possessions, which, which I would love for more people to see. And this provides a great platform. Tell us about the movie a little bit, if you can. Sure. It's, it's like an art thriller. It's like... It's about why we connect with art and why some people are willing to give up so much of their life to own a piece of art, yeah. And really, is it just a possession? And really, what does that mean, you know? That's what it's about. Have you ever had that experience when it comes to, you know, dealing with your art and, and the struggle, maybe with a relationship, uh, balancing the two? Has that ever been your experience? The f in the film, my character actually gives up his wife and everything in his life to own this piece of art. You got to go see this now. Yeah, yeah, it'll be on this website. It'll be up there. Nice. Uh, Twitter or Facebook website or anything for you? Yeah, my Twitter is at Lawrence Fuller. It's my name. Add me. I'm on Facebook too. All right. My man Lawrence is hanging out with us right here on the blue carpet. Lawrence, thank you so much for your time. Cheers. Continue success. Yeah. Cheers, man. Good to meet you. Cheers. All right. Q Nice posted up here with Lacey K. I'm telling you, when, when she gets older, she's going to be like a little heartbreaker. She is so cute. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing awesome. I'm doing good. Tell us what brings you out tonight. Well, um, I'm here just to support and just be here and meet new people. And I've met some Facebook friends. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Now, tell us what you have going on because you're doing some things in regards to acting. and. Yeah. Um, right now, I just wrapped my movie called Midlife, which is so exciting. It's going on DVD and going to be on Netflix. Wow. Super excited about that. Um, also, I am working on my music. I'm writing my music and um, getting in the studio. So it's super, super exciting. All right, now let's talk about the music just for a minute. All right, what are we dealing with here? Is it is it pop? Is it rock? Is it hip hop? What are, what are we doing? Pop. I'm like a ah. female Justin Bieber, but I have I have a lot of like passion. Like my music is all about real life things that have happened to me and that other people can relate to. Can you give us some of the titles? of some of your songs? Yes, um, I can tell you uh, two of them. Uh, one of them is called Together Forever, which is about a girl who thinks she's in love and um, and thinks that this guy is gonna be with her forever and a cute little poppy love. The second one is called Back, which is all about missing someone very much. And in my situation, it relates to me with my brother who passed away. So it's about me missing him and it could be missing about a friend, a roommate, a brother, a sister, whatever it is. It's just in general missing somebody. Well, we thank you so much for your time. Continue success. Thank you. Thank you. Q Nice here with Charlotte Kirk. And Charlotte, it is so fantastic to be here with you right now. I'm going to tell you something. First of all, she's real sexy. We know this already. But I love, I love her accent, the way that she talks. Tell me, where are you from originally? Originally from Kent, small town just outside of London in the UK. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, what brings you out tonight? Brings me out tonight is this amazing event that supports 
indie movies, which I'm all for. I think it's great. Another opportunity for filmmakers to make their movies. What do you What do you think the great thing is about uh, indie films when it comes to indie films? It gives It gives everyone in the filmmaking business opportunities because, you know, movies are very limited in the studio system. So it makes people creative and do what they want to do rather than what other people want to do you know so that's right, that's right. <laughs> so what do you have coming up what are you working on so i just finished a movie with james franco called black dog red dog and then i just finished another movie with alec baldwin yeah that was very cool called seduced and abandoned and i have a movie i'm doing in november with liam neeson called uh, non-stop yeah. non-stop so yeah you know, you are you are very busy. Do um, yes. you ever get tired, exhausted? Uh, sure. If you love what you're doing, you never get tired. It's never a day's work. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Well, we thank you so much for your time. Is there a website for you or anything? Sure. Um, well, you can Twitter. look Twitter. You can look me up on IMDb, Charlotte Kirk. Uh, my Facebook, Charlotte Sophie Kirk. Okay. I'm on Twitter as well. So yeah. All right, Charlotte, you are amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Cool. Continue Thank success. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Nice here with Lee Whitaker. Sir, it's great to have you out. Fantastic event. Um, your thoughts on the whole evening tonight. We got paparazzi. We got the blue carpet. It, it's all here. Yeah, it's really nice, man. You got, It's a really good turnout. There's a lot of people showing up here to you know show their support in it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of the festivals do a lot of things for the arts and for... Uh, for everybody, I mean, the access has become a lot more for the people now. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a big studio anymore to make movies and make great films, right, that's and that's true. all about the art of what we're doing. So this is great that that's what this is about. Yeah, that's kind of like going into my next question because I was going to ask you, as far as like for actors and actresses, in your opinion, you know, what do you think that the the indie films do? I think it highlights their craft. You, you know what I mean? We're, we're not just talking about popcorns and, and numbers. You know what I mean? It, it's a chance for the people to really show what they got and be an artist and sink into characters and stuff like that, as well as directors. Right. It's to really tell their story without, you know, somebody else yeah, putting their right. take in there yeah. and changing it from their vision to somebody else's vision. Right, right. So this is a really good thing. That's good. What do you have coming up or what are you working on currently? Uh, I'm about to uh, head over to India. I can't tell you what the name of it is, but... Uh, for I mean, just going to India alone, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, it'll be my second trip. Uh, they're great people over there, man. That The whole country is alive and electric with the film industry, which is fantastic. You can see it blowing up everywhere. And just wow. everybody is so sweet and nice. It's such a great environment. Wow. Yeah. Is there a website or anything for you? Uh, we're on 5150, uh, which is our action company. Nice. So, okay. cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Continue success. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Thank, right. you, thank you so much. You. All right. I'm from All right. A group called uh, on Capitol, from Capitol Records called DRS. We had a group called uh, a DRS, and I had a song called Gangsta Lane. Okay. This is for my homies. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, well, I'm the lead singer of that group, <laughs> and uh, did Jason's lyric and work with Digital Underground and uh, God. We're doing a play now called I Can't Turn You Loose with JDS Entertainment, where I'm the lead, Leon Trudeau. And I got a, a, I do a thing called The Joint, where I do an open mic for artists, and, and uh, it's on Pico and Robertson in L.A. The Joint. Now, what brings you out here, not only because of, of course, Filmworks.com, but you know these guys. Well, the, the, the is uh, Kevin Robert. That's, I went to, actually, I went to Southern University with, with nice. K-Rob. And so, you know, so it's good to see a fellow alum doing something yeah doing this thing plus on top of that his cousin actually was the producer of gangster lean which is just a small world it all works small world it's a small world <laughs> a small world plus he knows my grandmother who is the legendary linda hopkins who some of y'all don't know but she actually has a star across the street in front of the pantages uh next to betty davis so her name is linda hopkins so so you know we do our thing we're trying to keep hollywood going doing the music doing the movies and uh, trying to see if I can get my, my since I know the owner, see if I can get my, uh, when I get my little short together, put it in myfilmrocks.com. You know what, we're gonna have to make that happen. Absolutely. All right, all right. <laughs> well, I just appreciate being out here, and you know, this is a really nice night, and, um, and I just wish them, uh, here, Michael, and just wish them much success. Continue right. success to you. Thank you, man, thank you, thank you. Nice meeting you. I have Eunice and Anthony here with me right now. Q Nice back on the blue carpet once again. Eunice, let me ask you, um, this event right now, you know, for the films, rocks.com, your take on it, what do you think? 
No, I think it's really necessary to have something like that. I mean, you speak uh, to the organizer, Michael, and uh, you realize that a lot of uh, films are screened at the big festivals, and a lot of the smaller films don't really have an opportunity to get seen. And so I think it's a really great idea to kind of fill the gap and um, be able to put all these films online and just people can just see it at their own pace and you know the films get watched so I think people know that there is a platform for them and that right. their films don't just get lost out there so I think it's fantastic and then the other thing too is that you know this is a whole competition the, you know there's there's money involved uh, uh -huh. very easy to sign up your thoughts your takes on the whole thing that's taking place right now well, I think it's great too for uh, filmmakers starting out to have a place to have a venue to uh, to be seen, to compete, so they can take that money and put it into their next project. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Reinvest. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Um, okay, the title of the film is Reflections, and Anthony actually wrote the script, so... <laughs> tell us a little bit about it, please. There's a, a program in the prisons called the Victim Offender Program, so I, I saw a special on it about 15 years ago uh, on HBO, and I thought, wow, this is great drama, great story a uh, great platform so I wrote a piece that I was trying to create work for myself as an actor so I wrote this piece uh, for me to act in and then I was fortunate enough to meet Eunice and become friends with Eunice and she's a wonderful actress and uh, oh, yeah <laughs> yeah and it, it was great just uh, it was really a labor of love and we had John Heath directed it and um, Brian Conklin and Patty Heath acted in it as well so yeah yeah. Uh, is there a website for you, Twitter, or anything like that? I, I, I do have a website, uh, uh, the Artist Theatre Group uh, at Homestead, uh, homestead.com. Yeah. And yourself? Uh, Eunice Olson .com. All right. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Guys, we thank you so much for your time. Continue success. Right. Thank you so much, Q. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lindsay Bird right here with Q Nice. How are you and what brings you out tonight? I'm here to support a great friend who is doing something great for the arts and It's amazing, isn't it? Right? I mean, there's a lot of people out there that can't get their craft out there and I'm an athlete, so luckily I have a way of uh, my craft being out there with the Olympics, you know what I mean? But everybody doesn't have the opportunity, doesn't have the right timing. Uh, nobody saw them this one time. And I think it's great what he's doing because everybody out there has their craft. And I'm big on supporting people perfecting their craft. And I think he's being a part of it and I love it and here to support a friend. You are a blessing, continue success to you. Thank you. All right, Q Nice here, Post Setter, with my man Joe, of course. Mr. Funny Man doing his thing all over the place. Bro, it's good to see you, and especially out at this event. What do you think this event means for those independent filmmakers and directors? Uh, it means control. <laughs> you know, I'm an independent filmmaker, person. I'm an independently major operator anyway. And I think it, it just sets the tone where you can, uh, you can partner with anybody, man. This gives you um, more power for yourself. And it gives you know more relationships to build. It just makes you more business like. That's how I look at it. You know, you can become you can become your own Costco. No doubt. We thank you so much for your time. Thanks for talking to us for a brief minute. You know, continue success. Hey, no doubt. Deuces. Wow, another fantastic night. Uh, shouts out to all of the actors, the actresses here at MyFilmRocks.com. This was the Blue Carpet event, and it was another exclusive, and we were able to bring it to you as always, and uh, that's exactly what we do. So again, this is Chief Rocket TV, where music, fashion, and politics collide in association with Trail Vision. I'm your host, Q Nice, and please remember, as always, follow your dreams, shoot for the stars, and I'll see you around the world. Take it.